discovering a joyful life. For me, a joyful life is one where I am connected to nature. For the past four months, I have experienced nature in so many new ways. Backpacking along the coast, I have experienced nature in a way that I had only longed for before coming to CSG. I was able to completely immerse myself in the places where I was, and I was able to be present in the moment and appreciate all of the beauty that surrounded me. Over the past four months, I have also come to realize that lifelong learning is a huge part of my joy. Learning for me has been the discovery of the things that I am passionate about. I have discovered that writing, which is something that I thought I would never even like, <laughs> is something that I actually love. Creative writing has become a space for me to reflect, as well as to share my beliefs and passions. One of the ways that creative writing has opened a space for me to express my beliefs and passions 
was in an essay that I wrote for NPR's essay contest, This I Believe. <coughs> this I Believe. Is a belief truly a belief if it isn't acted upon? Each of us holds many different beliefs and values in our lives, but much of the time, our actions do not align with the beliefs that we have, and in some cases, they even contradict them. How do people see something that doesn't support their beliefs, know that they are capable of acting, but then decide not to, because it would involve some change on their part? Can someone say that they truly believe in something, even if they are not compelled to act upon the very thing that they believe in? I believe that a belief is not a belief unless it is acted upon. Because at the end of the day, if we truly believe in something, our deepest heartstrings will compel us to act, even in the smallest of ways and despite any circumstances standing in our way. The etymology of the word belief actually relates to my own core beliefs. Be was added as a prefix to leaf and comes from the Sanskrit word luma, meaning earth or world. Leaf, which was derived from the root lebu, means to love. When the two etymologies of the word are combined, belief essentially means to love the world, which for me is at the heart of all of my beliefs. For a long time, I believed in protecting animals from cruelty and torture at the same time, I was sitting down at dinner to eat them. Eventually, <laughs> eventually, by the time I was a freshman in high school, I could no longer deny the relationship between the way that I ate and the way that it was directly contributing to the death and torture of animals, climate change, deforestation, and pollution. I could no longer disconnect myself from my love of animals and the environment because of my own taste preference, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to live another day where I didn't take action to save animals' lives and to reduce the harm being done to the environment. I changed this by educating myself on the meat and dairy industry, and then I became vegan, cutting out all animal products from my diet and life. I know that I believe in animal and environmental health, not only because I took action, but because I reached a point where I could no longer not take action. In my case, action was radical, but action doesn't have to be radical to support our beliefs. There are times when there are things stopping us from living in total alignment of our beliefs, but there are always small ways to act upon them. Our beliefs, when they are true, stir us to the core. They are the ideas and the things that we respond to on a level that demands we react in some way, any way at all. If we choose not to act on our beliefs, then they are not our true beliefs. Not acting is an action in and of itself against our beliefs. But when we truly believe, there is no way to stop ourselves from pursuing our beliefs in our lives. Acting on my beliefs for me is a large part of creating a joyful life. Because when my actions are aligned with my beliefs, I am living out the things that I am passionate about, which brings me joy. As I move forward from CSG, I want to enact change to help protect the environment from human impact. Before CSG, one of the biggest ways that I had acted on my beliefs was being vegan. But now I want to do even more. And my experience at CSG has given me the tools to help inspire that change in the world. I want to help save more animals' lives in the environment by actively spreading the message about the way that the meat and dairy industry contributes to cruelty and the destruction of the environment. I also want to help protect the animals in the oceans and the health of the oceans by reducing plastic pollution. In my own life after CSG, 
I am going to reduce my use of one-time plastics, such as plastic silverware and grocery bags, as well as to stop buying any products with microfacial beads. But I would also like to help spread the word by talking about the harmful effects of plastic pollution and microplastics. CSG has inspired me to take greater action on my beliefs, which has set me up to live a joyful life full of passion. CSG has also taught me one of the greatest lessons in life, which is that life is what you make of it. I have faced many challenges at CSG, but I have learned how to overcome them. At CSG, I have been challenged academically to push myself to learn more than I thought was even possible in such a short amount of time. I have also been pushed to do the best work that I am capable of. But at the same time, I have come to learn that sometimes in life there are times when I can't have perfect academics. But that's okay, because the learning is more important than the grade. I faced challenge at CSG when I struggled to feel at home despite the outpouring of love and support I felt from the community, and despite the fact that there isn't a better group of people in the world that I would rather be with. At CSG, I have learned to grow through perseverance in the face of challenge. As MLK said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. In life, there are always challenges and controversies, but I can always choose to see the light within those challenges to live a life full of joy. Thank you.